the Parliament now, I chair Parliament's delegation for relations with some of the countries of South Asia. So in travelling in Bangladesh, in Nepal, Pakistan, Maldives for example, you can see the real difference it makes to young women when they feel that people have invested in them, that the opportunities that are now there, the real enthusiasm that they have and the way in which you, you know, it empowers a whole community to move differently. So it's a long-standing sort of feeling that I have, but also when you see it working on the ground with a project, I don't know, with young Dalit girls, say, in Nepal, you can really see the enormous difference that this makes to, to young lives. So it's important. I think it's clear that there's a lot more that can be done to actually make sure that girls do have an opportunity to have an education and in a, a safe and also healthy environment. So between now and when we're looking to be on the um, Millennium Development Goals, I think we need to make sure that all of the money available is spent, that it's spent in also some really sound infrastructure, even whether that's clean toilets so that girls feel that they can stay at school when they're menstruating or whatever. It also means, I think, that we need to put in a real push to try and make sure that governments actually take ownership and maybe of some of the programmes which have been there and really integrate that into their planning. Because otherwise I think we have the risk of seeing some really good work maybe fading because there's no real support after 2015. It's always a challenge with a new parliament because you can have up to 50% change in the membership of the European Parliament post-election. So one of the things I think we need to do before then is to think about what sort of institutional framework we have in the European Parliament to make sure that the work is carried forward. It's a discussion we're having at the moment within the framework of children's rights to how do we, do we link that with a committee, do we link that with an all-party group and also a lot will depend in the new parliament I think from what the, the people who've been supporting the work in the parliament this time can bring from civil society because that's often the, the place where the real memory of the parliament is held. So what happens in the run-up to the election, the promises that are garnered from potential new MEPs will be important and then to be through the door fast once people are elected to remind them about what it was they promised and what are they going to do with International Year of the Girl in 2014, just a few weeks after they take office. Mm -hmm.